Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, something I've noticed lately, not just lately, but really over the last few years, I think is a positive trend, is that GPP work, also known as general physical preparedness, uh, has made a real comeback in popular culture, and even a lot of trainers and everyone are promoting it. I think it's a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. Let's do a little bit of crafting and let's talk about it. All right, one of the good things here is because uh, for a little while, we saw a lot of really stupid stuff being pushed uh, by personal trainers. All this stability work, BOSU balls, everything else. All this really useless garbage that actually is going to get people into shape. Slower was promoted for a long time. Now we're seeing a lot more general physical preparedness, uh, which, you know, I mean, we saw in popular media for a long time. I mean, the Rocky movies, for example. I mean, Rocky, when he went against Ivan Drago and everything, and him doing all just that manual labor type stuff. Uh, to get in shape kind of, I think, set the stage in a lot of ways for many years for people to be drawn back to that thing. Uh, because just hard work, almost manual labor type training, can be a form of general physical preparedness. Um, and again, it's good that people are getting away from all this BOSU ball nonsense because one of the, the big problems we had in personal training for a long time, personal trainers really, a lot of the stuff most trainers out there who don't understand strength and conditioning were promoting uh, with stuff that's useful for about one to two, maybe three months for their clients, and after that it becomes completely useless uh, because they just continue to use light weights and don't focus on progression in the gym. Uh, what you basically saw was just personal trainers promoting lots of core work, uh, mobility work, which is stuff a lot of people, if someone who had been really, really sedentary for 10 years, um, they don't have a strong core. They don't have a strong lower back. Uh, they have tight hamstrings. They have mobility issues that prevents them from actually training hard enough to get into shape. Uh, but if you work with that person for four to six weeks on those things, those problems should go away and then they can go on to real training. And instead, you see a lot of these coaches continue to have them do little fluffy stuff with light weights, never really get stronger uh, on all their various big movements, or do a lot of circuit training, which again, is gonna stall people's progress and bring them down to a slow level of progress. Now, I suppose that's fine, if you're a personal trainer who's being paid just to help somebody along, to be just someone to talk to and socialize with while they slowly get into shape and you want to prolong the client paying you, I suppose that works because they'll see some initial results and start to feel better, but it's certainly not helping them make maximal progress towards uh, really getting fit and in shape at the, at the rate they could be. Now, what's interesting is that we see a lot of GBP work, and I think in addition to popular media, um, I think CrossFit is one of the people who have helped promote that. Now, a lot of what CrossFit does is bad. A lot of it's dangerous, but a lot of it's good at the same time because they've made a return of barbell work. They've made barbell work popular again uh, for the general population trying to get into shape. All right, that's a good thing. That's probably one of the most positive things they have done. Now, I don't always like how they go about it, but that's a positive trend. Also, they've repopularized GPP work, and let's be honest here. Um, SPP, which we call specific physical preparedness, is really for people with very specific competitive goals oftentimes, you know, and they've got very specific things they need to achieve with their training in the, in the gym. Um, but a lot of people, the general population just wants to be more fit. And general physical preparedness will help them with their overall fitness. It's not necessarily going to help them with their maximum power. It's not going to help them with their maximum endurance. But those are, again, uh, more specific endeavors <clears throat> and it kind of sticks to that middle ground and I think GPP work for people who just want to get into shape um, is probably the way to go for the average person getting them out there doing sled drags doing farmers walks uh, chopping wood again hitting a tire with a sledgehammer this stuff is going to give you full body functional movement patterns. It's going to train your grip. It's going to train your conditioning. Uh, overall, all of this general physical preparedness, because that's what it is. A lot of it really just simulates hard physical work. But if you do so in an environment that has progression with it, uh, that doesn't over cause over any real overreaching, just slow adaptation, I think general physical preparedness can be an extremely valuable tool for the general population who just wants to be more fit. And I think a big part of that is because people have um, fallen away from manual labor in most Western countries. I'm not saying there aren't a lot of people who do manual labor, there are, but sedentary desk jobs kill you. They get you out of shape. And by that same token, there are plenty of people who are mechanics or construction workers or whatever who buy even gym standards or decently strong people. They're oftentimes not out of shape. 
Now they might not have cardiovascular conditioning, so they're not really in shape, but in terms of just strength, uh, mobility, things like that, a lot of these people who move and lift stuff and do things all day are gonna be in much better shape uh, than a lot of people would suspect. In fact, many of them, when you go and find out and just uh, do some things with them, whether it's uh, just wrestling or any sort of contact type sport, do some martial arts with some of them, uh, even play a game of football or whatever, you're going to find a lot of those people who do these jobs, who are farmers, ranchers, construction workers, mechanics, industrial mechanics, are going to be a lot stronger with a lot more grip strength and grappling ability and things like that than you, you would think. Again, oftentimes they're better than a lot of guys who do some recreational type bodybuilding at the gym who use belts and straps and wrist straps and everything uh, for the stuff that they do. They find that these guys end up grappling with them or arm wrestling with them or anything else that they're not prepared for that. Uh, again, they're oftentimes quite functional. And people who are sedentary have lost that. They've lost that ability because they're, they have desk jobs. They have sedentary jobs. They might have jobs even where they're on their feet, but they're not actually... Uh, any sort of real labor and accordingly those people have lower health they have shortened lifespans believe it or not the human body in, is designed to work it is designed to be mobile it's designed to be active we're designed to be climbing trees we're designed to be running down uh, antelopes out on a plane with a spear that's what we've done we are physically active beings and when we become sedentary we get sick we get unhealthy and we die young we have all sorts of afflictions as a result. And, um, you know, by that same token, though, I mean, manual labor can also wear people down due to muscle imbalances. Too much repetitive motion on the same joint without muscle balance and things, yeah, that can cause them problems. But the general physical preparedness um, is a good way to balance those things out. And But it's particularly for the sedentary population who don't do any manual labor. Uh, general physical preparedness like that I think is fantastic particularly for people who aren't going to go do a maximum strength program uh, which again I think a lot of people should be focusing on some strength training and cardio will get them in shape but I think a general physical preparedness really being a solid base for sedentary people with desk jobs and everything else is actually not a bad idea it's pretty good and I really like that we're seeing a lot of trainers and other people pushing people towards that instead of endless amounts of stupid plyometrics uh, BOSU ball training or circuit training or whatever, they're going to get a lot more out of it because it's going to carry over better. You know, and the one thing I do hate to see is all this plyometric stuff. That's another big set of nonsense. Plyometrics, whether it's burpees or jumping jacks or whatever, without progressive overload, uh, becomes useless after about two weeks of doing it. It literally is going to do nothing for you beneficial in terms of adaptation. Uh, unless you just keep adding volume, adding volume, and eventually you're going to get sick of it. You're going to get sick of doing a thousand burpees because that's what you're going to have to do to get anything out of it. Because if you're not continually adding a burpee, adding a burpee, adding a burpee for more volume, more workload, you're not going to see any positive adaptation to these things. So the jumping jacks and the burpees and all this other stuff they have them do, the BOSU ball training is really fluffy woofy nonsense that is not going to help people get into shape in the long term but I think the general physical preparedness is now you're seeing more and more being pushed uh, I think it's going to do that so I love the idea of that you know again getting people out there doing sled drags farmers walks um, you know again beating a tire with a hammer uh, again replicating a lot of manual labor stuff that people who are sedentary have lost fantastic way to get them in shape, get them active, and make their body functional again. So I absolutely kind of applaud the idea, and I'm glad we're seeing more and more of that coming out. And I think uh, we need to see a lot less of the opposite, all the plyometrics, the BOSU ball, stability training. That stuff is all complete bullshit, guys. It's horseshit. It's not going to get you into shape in the long term. It's a short-term thing that's going to work for a few weeks, and then you're going to stop adapting to it. Uh, with the other stuff, you can just keep adding progressive workload of that GPP. You can drag heavier sleds. You can carry heavier farmer's walks handles. You can add weights to them. You can swing a heavier hammer over time. Uh, again, you can create additional workload, additional overload, so that you keep adapting to it for months and months and months and maybe even years. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.